Hello subscribers, and welcome to another episode of Bus With Us. We are on a special mission today. It is a bus-related mission, and uh, we're gonna go somewhere and see something special. Um, it's a little bit far away, so I'm on my way to the airport right now. I'm gonna hop in the airplane. We're gonna take the airplane. It's about a 35-minute flight in the Comanche versus uh, a little over two hours of driving to get to where we're gonna be, so that makes sense to take the plane today. It's a gorgeous day. It's been beautiful weather the last couple of days. It's been well above zero. We've lost all of our snow except the snow banks, which is really nice. Um, it's a little bit gusty today, about 15 maybe, gusting 25 to 25 knots. Nothing uh, I can't handle, but it uh, could be a little bumpy. So come along for the ride and uh, stay tuned for our surprise. Flyer parts bus. This is a P41, so it's uh, the longer version of the two. The P37 is the shorter one, 32 feet. This is uh, 35 feet. Can't see inside anything. But this one has all its windows intact, which is why uh, it's here because you'll see the other one doesn't have all its windows. Looks like there's some corrosion along the bottom. So it's missing its drivetrain. Looks like the back bumper. Let's see if I can get through this mud here. So it's mostly intact, but the body's getting a little rough around the edges. Oh, he's got it locked so he can't see in. But maybe if we stick this in the front window, you can see what's inside of it. So it's fairly complete inside with the uh, modesty panel and the luggage racks. Maybe you can get a look at the front here. It's kind of parked in there tight so we can't get a good shot, but that's a P41. So here we are at the Western Flyer. It's a P37. It's got some nice milled aluminum. So this is actually milled. Very solid. So it's had some upgrades done. Um, unfortunately, the windows have been changed. They're a modern style window, which is good if you're using it as an RV, but it uh, takes away from the original look of the bus. It's running uh, 22 fives, 11 R 22 fives. It's got a 471 in it with a uh, synchro mesh Spicer five speed. So it's a longitudinal mounted engine with a fan above the uh, engine with the radiator. And uh, let's see if I can get in here. It's hard to see in there, it's a little bit dark, but hopefully you guys can see some of it. So someone's re-engineered the um, ventilation for the radiator on this one. Originally it would have had scoops on the top and uh, someone's added some side scoops and removed the upper scoops. And originally it would have had some um, vents in the rear doors here. <clears throat> and you can see actually the plate above the rear doors. There used to be vents in there as well. So they've re-engineered it so it blows it in the top and comes out the bottom. Um, 
it's going to get put back to being a little more original and uh, I'm going to change some of that stuff. Uh, I'm not, the owner of the bus is. But these Western Flyers are getting pretty rare. Um, they're a little bit like an Eagle where they've got a steel frame with aluminum skins over them. So being that these were built mid 50s, mid to the mid 60s in this style, that means there's probably not many of them left, especially because they used to run in, uh, in Canada here and uh, in the cold and in the, in the weather. So let's walk around the other side. So this one was converted, I'd say late 80s, early 90s, but the style of the interior. It's a pretty bus. Really like the fluting down the sides. It's had a bit of a roof raise to give more interior space, but it's it's been done very subtle. So the front has got the original height, but if you look back from the side here, you can see that little bit of a hump at the top, kind of like a buffalo but not quite as dramatic, so it's uh, subtle, it was well done, it was a lot of work, whoever did it, that's for sure. They did a decent job. And uh, let's see if we can stick it under the bus for a sec, so you can get an idea how they're built underneath. So it's got these long, flat aluminum ribs that run front to back. And uh, there's some steel frame in there, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe so. <clears throat> so it's got some brand new brake cans on the back there. They were put on just yesterday, I believe. Getting it ready for a safety. So I'm getting inspected on the road here in Ontario. When I mentioned I bought the van, and it used to be a former D-Drifters 5, and I was mentioning this to my real estate agent, who happened to be Polish-Ukrainian or whatever, and, you know, I, I thought I was going to get a question mark. And he says, oh my God, I, love, I used to listen to them all the time. In fact, I have an album. So the album came from my real estate agent, and <laughs> this was their tour van. Tour bus, I should say. That's pretty cool. And you said there was a piano up front here? Yeah, it was like a... Uh, a little baby grand or something like that that uh, I've got an old picture somewhere I wish I could pull it out but yeah I can imagine you know uh, John Candy planes trains and automobiles that would have been quite the thing to see the bus pull up with the piano and yeah yeah, yeah. so I'm sure a lot of out uh, let's say vodka was consumed <laughs> <laughs> and what year did you say this uh, p37 was again 1959 1959 and they made these buses from from 55 to 62. From 55 to 62. And the P41s weren't as popular, were they? Uh, they couldn't compete, obviously, with uh, GMC and uh, MCI. Okay. So, although they made a decent product, but they were always kind of like behind the, uh, I won't say design curve, but, you know, they, um, GMC had come out with something and they, they'd match it a couple, two, five years later. Yeah. Or whatever. And, uh, they say the, the P41 say they needed more room, so they, they got them to 41 feet. The, these are 32 feet. Yeah. And then the um, Western Flyer Canuck, uh, then they made the 500, and then they stretched that to, to 41 passengers or okay. whatnot. Do you have any idea how many were actually put into production, do you? Uh, you know, we've got that spec sheet that we've seen on uh, Angel Fire. I, I just hadn't yeah. count them, counted them up. Uh, but uh, a big uh, operator was at uh, uh, Canadian Coachways out of Edmonton. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I wonder if this one, this one must have had turn signals originally. Not like some of the old GMs where it was optional. Yeah, oh, I, I cool. forgot to ask Wayne what, uh, you know, the fellow put the bus together. Uh, because this looks like a module that actually clamps onto yeah, the column. Yeah, so. I know a lot of the, let's say, trucks, you know, half tons in, in the 50s, they, those were added on. So, updated gauges, which is kind of nice that they actually all work. It's got uh, spring brakes that were, I don't think, did this originally have spring brakes? It must, because I don't see any kind of a handbrake. So uh, yeah, it did spring brakes from the So, vehicle, yeah. it was spring brake. Yeah. And, um... Do you know what the deal is with these slippery road switches? Um, oh, that's... Um, uh, I've read something about that, but yeah, I can't yeah. remember. Uh, um, 
Doesn't it disengage the front brakes partially uh, or something to do with the air pressure? Basically, uh, less impact, uh, less pressure. Okay, so it reduces uh, as, the pressure. I can't exact the wording uh, as Wayne explained it to me, but I, I recall that uh, even when I did my Z license, <laughs> it spoke about that, other uh, applications or whatever. That's pretty cool. The bus has not been run today. I've already leaked a bit of air out. But it's still got air pressure in it from when did you run it yesterday? Uh, yesterday, yeah. So, we're moving around to, to get up on the ass end so we can chop so some we've, we've still even got enough air that the brakes are working. So it's got a good air system on it. Can't wait to see this driving down the highway. So here we are inside. The driver's area is nicely cleaned up and restored. It's got. The, uh, the heater in these run here. He's got the plate off his parts bus, so he's going to get that remade and put that back on. He's got nice big mirrors. It's missing the, uh, the door mechanism here, so that's another item that's coming off the parts bus that's going to get put back together. Kind of like a silver side. It's got a side window that actually rolls down, but it's got something that's actually nicer than a silver side. It's got this window here. This vent window can pop out, so you, you loosen this off, and then that just forces air in while you drive down the road. That would be super awesome to have. So the interior is a, it's a bit of a 80s, 90s, probably early 90s. Um, it's got a newer RV seat. It sits a little low, so that's all going to get corrected. Um, he's going to take the uh, parcel racks out of the other bus and install them in here and redo the ceiling. Uh, he's going to give it more of a Art Deco vintage feel inside. Give it a bit of a remodel and an update. So let's walk through into here. So it's a walk-through bathroom. And if we close these doors, it's got a shower back here and it's got a dropped-in shower pan so when you stand in the shower you're not banging your head on the curved roof. That might be a good idea for us to do for Gus because uh, the silver side doesn't even have as much headroom as this. So it might be a bit limited. I mean, it, it, it was well done for the area era it was converted in, but um, it's time for a refresh. Get it a modern go over. I should say a vintage go over. Very functional, everything works. So he's got windows that are good in his parts bus. This one's broken. Unfortunately, they have a bit of a curve to them, and they're very, very hard to come by. So he's lucky that he got good glass on the parts bus. But I really like the look of this driver's area. Kind of nice. Synchro mesh 5-speed. That's got to be a lot nicer to drive than the uh, old GM 4-speeds. Lots of nice chrome knobs that are in good shape. Steering wheel's in great shape. Love the old button clutch pedal. It's kind of cool. So lots of effort was... Whoa, just about fell down the step there. Lots of effort was put into it. And lots more effort and love is going to be put back into it again. So I want to thank Brian for taking the time today to show us his uh, 1959 Western Flyer P37. It's a pretty unique bus and uh, I don't think there's a lot of Western Flyers left on the road. Compared to GM, there certainly weren't very many made. There's a lot more GM buses made in that era. Um, they weren't nearly as successful. So it was a good day, good chance to check out another bus. Uh, we hope Brian gets it on the road soon and we can see it cruising down the highway. And uh, it was also a good day to get out the airplane and take it for a flight. Uh, here's a photo of us flying over Hamilton, and you can see the uh, Skyway Bridge, and way off in the distance is the Toronto skyline. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please stay tuned. Our next video, we bring Gus out of hibernation, and uh, he comes home, so that'll be fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.